prayer point, we're going to be looking at praying for our leaders and our pastors um, in our church. And so during this 21 days of fasting, we're going to be, this on this day, we're going to be praying into that. And so when I was reflecting and thinking on this um, and what to pray for for our leaders, um, I was thinking of an example of leadership that I heard uh, in nature. And uh, it's, when you, if you've ever been to a river or been to a lake and you've gone, um, if you've got children or if you've um, gone with young children to feed the ducks, you may have seen um, on the river lots of little ducks that are swimming out on the river. And sometimes you'll see um, the, there is a leader duck at the very front um, and you can often see a few ducks kind of behind them. It's like that phrase, ducks in a row. You can see a couple of um, ducks following alongside them. And often when we think of leadership, we can think of um, just one leader at the front and people just following uh, along behind. But what we don't notice when um, you have that duck at the front, not only is that duck a leader that has to uh, chart the course, that has to sh know the direction um, that they're going in for the other ducks to follow behind, but not only that, but also the duck needs to be is also kicking its feet underneath the surface. Now that's something that you don't see from the front, but what he's doing when he's kicking his feet beneath the surface, not only is um, that duck swimming, but that duck is um, creating a stream underneath the water that is allowing the other ducks to glide and follow um, more easily behind um, that leader duck or those leader um, ducks at the front. So that duck will be kicking, creating a stream and creating a, a um, path and a stream behind that will allow the other ducks to kind of glide into that current and follow that duck with ease. And so when I was praying, I wanted us to really focus our prayers um, into not only praying for direction for our leaders, praying for our leaders to um, know where God is calling into the seasons, um, but also praying for strength, that there is a lot that many leaders, maybe yourselves included, leaders that have to, who are kicking beneath the surface um, and doing things below the surface that we don't see and things that they're doing in order to create an environment, to create an ease for people to follow into that, for people to follow and glide um, into the path that they are pioneering, the path that they are setting um, in God. And so let's pray for divine direction, for anointing for our leaders, and pray that for strength as they kick beneath the surface, creating a path and creating a way for people to experience God, creating a way for people to get closer to God um, and creating a way to grow the kingdom of God as well. And so that's what I wanted us to focus our prayers on as well. We also want to pray for new um, leaders to emerge as well. And praying that we'll see people with that attitude and that and that um, motivation to be kicking beneath the surface, to be putting the energy even beneath the surface where people don't even see, to be allowing people to come and experience Jesus. And so let's lift up our leaders in prayer. Think of our senior leadership teams, um, including Pastor Paul and Mags, our senior pastors, as we pray for them during this time, as we focus on leaders and leadership. And even yourself in the capacities that you're leading, many of us are even leading ourselves in our own lives. So let's pray that God will give us direction and strength in this time. Hope you all have a blessed day and see you soon. Bye.